Here's our Eagle S600 strapping machine. So today we're just gonna do a quick video on how to reload a new coil of strap. So we're gonna go ahead and come up to the machine here. So you do have this nice screen that's gonna tell you really what's going on. It's gonna ask you to remove last strap if there was any left, and then it's gonna ask you uh, load new strap. When it says load new strap, that's when you can go through this whole new process. If it doesn't say load new strap, you're gonna to wanna to shut the machine off, make sure all the straps out, turn it back on, because you wanna see this indication to load new strap. So we'll go ahead and we'll come down here. We'll go ahead and we'll open up this door. So where the strap is so it's really nice we do got a uh, sticker right here that's going to give you steps one through six and it gives you uh, key points on where the strap needs to go uh, so this will be super helpful for the customer also you have this picture here what that's referring to is the natural curl of the strap you always want to make sure that curl is facing down uh, if it is facing up and i'll show you that when you feed it into the machine could cause a misfeed so you always want to make sure curl is facing down so we have this bar here highlighted yellow. So this is a handle that you'll go ahead and pull out. We'll come out here and you got your core on the outside. So this is a new core. Uh, we're going to go ahead and you'll loosen this up to remove. Then you add your new coil on, put this back on and tighten it back up. Uh, you want to make sure it's nice and secure, not too tight, not too loose. So, and then you also want to kind of cut the strap to make sure that it is facing upward, just like in the picture. So we'll go ahead and after you have that new coil on, we'll slide this back into place. You just wanna make sure it's all the way in the back. So we'll go ahead here first, we'll start. Comes down through the bottom. Comes up towards the top here, runs across the two top rollers. And then I pull some extra slack down here. So I'm gonna pull this up here so you can kind of see how it's got that natural curl that's the curl I'm talking about. And you wanna make sure that curl's facing down when we feed it in here. So I'll pull up here, I'll pull down, make sure that this curl is facing down. You have these two rollers here, right next to above B7 sensor. You'll push it in until it meets these two rollers. Once you feel that it's meant there, you have this lever right here that you lift up and you just feed it about one inch in. And then you can go ahead and take the slack back up. And that's how you got it threaded. So we'll go ahead and we'll shut the door. We'll come up here to the screen. We'll go ahead and hit start. So now it fed the accumulator and then fed it through the arch. Uh, after running the machine for a while, you can always hear that it made connection. And you're good to go.